Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're brand new, my name is Madison and I'm so excited that you're here today. I'm going to be going through my fridge. I kind of wanted to do a what's in my fridge or fridge organization and clean out. So I'm just combining them together into one video because you guys, my fridge is a disaster. So as you can see by this picture that's on the screen now, that is the door of my fridge. It is a mess, but wait until you see the second picture I'm about to show you of the inside of my fridge. It is absolutely insane how it's not even that disgusting it's just very messy very unorganized stuff is everywhere and I'm losing stuff and forgetting that I have stuff and repurchasing it as I'll show you in a second when we get to the what's in my fridge part so you guys no judging I want to I wanted to show you guys real life and this is definitely real life I get back from the grocery store no time to put anything up I just put it in there shut the door and every time I open it I just get so upset but I'm finally here to fix it you guys I cannot wait to have it all complete but here's the inside I know it's bad don't judge please but this is just how it is and now I'm here to clean it so hopefully this inspires you to clean out your refrigerator if it needs to be done your freezer your pantry hopefully it inspires you to clean um, some section of your home okay guys this is everything that you saw in my fridge you guys there is an excessive amount of stuff in my fridge stuff I didn't even know was in there which is why I wanted to do this you guys it is crazy like what went bad in my fridge that I didn't even remember was in there so this is everything um it filled up my entire counter I'm gonna go through everything pretty quickly I don't want to go through everything individually but this is kind of like the condiments section slash dairy situation so I have a bunch of cream cheese that was on sale at Sam's so I got one and I already had some these were in the back of my fridge so I didn't even know that I had these they're still good thankfully um but I bought this not knowing that I had all of this so we really need to get something with cream cheese on the meal plan um butter I have I bought the big thing from Sam's Club um the members mark brands so there's two down there one here I bought this one uh before I went to Sam's because I um needed it on hand so I went ahead and got that these are these smart muffins that the smart baking company sent me if you follow me on instagram which if you didn't know i did make a keto instagram page so i'll put that right here um so you can go and follow that if you want to um just because i post i just started it but i post like uh keto updates and different keto items that i'm eating sometimes what i eat in a day and stuff so i'm going to start getting more active on there um, but i have the chocolate chip the pumpkin spice and the banana nut there's three in each of them um, I'm going to freeze some of them, but I just got them in, so I wanted to get them in the refrigerator so I could try them. By the way, I tried the chocolate chip one this morning for breakfast. It was absolutely amazing. If you want to try them, you can use my code Madison Pippins for 10% off of, of their website. So, anyways, that's all of that stuff. Um, this stuff, I haven't been able to find at Sam's, so I'm, like, trying to sparingly use it because it's almost empty. But this is the garlic butter, chef's chamois, parmesan cheese, and basil garlic butter it is so good you guys this is the second thing I went through and like I barely use this anymore because I use this in everything but as you can see it is almost gone and I went to Sam's I've been to Sam's twice and they didn't have it either time so I'm kind of bummed about that but you know that is what it is here's all the condiments so obviously some of this stuff isn't keto if you didn't know my fiance does not do keto um he does um a different kind of diet you know he doesn't eat super unhealthy like we used to do but he doesn't do keto so um i have some things in here that are from before keto um obviously this heavy whipping cream mustard different stuff this is the best keto mayonnaise that i can eat um i like this one a lot um, i did buy these when i first started keto and realized quickly that they are not the greatest um as far as the ingredients so i've just been holding on to them they were on sale at aldi um, so I bought two of them because I really like them, um, but I have since known that um, they are not great. So as far as the ingredients, this is my favorite ranch. This is the naturally fresh, fresh classic ranch. It's in the produce section. Um, I can only find it at Kroger, so I don't know if you guys can find it other places, but that's the only place I can find it. Uh, and then, so we have blue cheese. We have this uh, cilantro lime sauce from Costco. Um, just different things. Barbecue sauce. We have the Jihu sugar-free um, ketchup, regular ketchup, like I said, for Matt and stuff, Caesar dressing. So anyways, just a wide variety of things. These all go in the door, as you saw in those pictures before. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of a mix of stuff. And I think I'm going to divide it by keto and non-keto when I put them in back in the refrigerator. So this is the condiment section. All right, and this is everything else. So I have a bunch of stuff in here, you guys, like an excessive amount of stuff. So I do have, we do have one thing of milk. I do, ha I just did, I just got this sugar-free whipped heavy cream. Chrissy Davis raves about this a lot, just to put as like a little extra on some things. Here are the macros if you're interested. Zero carbs, um, 
the ingredients aren't that great. I know it has carrageenan in it, which I know is not ideal, but so does heavy, the heavy whipping cream that I use. So it's okay for me just to have as a treat, in my opinion. If you are against that, then don't get it. But the only sugar-free, like zero-carb uh, whipped topping that I've been able to find is the Great Value Bread. And it's like $2, I think, for that thing. I just got this big thing of broccoli from Sam's. I've been using this broccoli as like a noodle substitute and putting like off chicken alfredo on top of it. I have a lot of cheese. I have a big thing of Swiss and another thing of Swiss. I bought this for a recipe, but I never used it, so I'm going to have to do that recipe again. I just got this big two-pound block of sharp cheddar cheese from Sam's Club. Um, this is just another half of a block also from Sam's Club from before. Mozzarella cheese for chaffles that I still have never made and I want to use um, and I want to make really bad, and I still haven't been able to make them. Um, I did. I do have this boards and cheese. This is so, so good. This came in a three pack from Costco. It had one of the shallot and chai, one of the garlic and herb. I had people over the other day and made like a little board with meats and cheeses and stuff. And I put this out and one of them and people absolutely loved it. In here, in this little basket, these are from the Dollar Tree. If you're wondering, um, I have some string cheese in here. I have like cheddar cheese and then like actual string cheese. Um, I love to take these uh, to work with me um, for a snack, especially if I'm in the office all day. Um, then I have a whole bunch of meat here. A lot of it I need to either cook for meal prep this week or put up. Um, but I just got a lot of it. And since I I go to the grocery store and I put stuff in the refrigerator and I just leave it there. So, which is my problem. Um, and so I need to get better about that. But this Adele's brand, I've heard is pretty decent. And I found these at Publix. They were on sale two for seven, I think. Or something, like maybe two. I don't know. They were a decent deal considering they're normally like $5 a piece. Um, and this is the Cajun and Dewey style. Um, and this is... You can see one carb there um, for one link. And there are these things. So it's pork, water, and then less than 2% of sea salt, garlic, spices, sugar, paprika, celery powder, and dehydrated onion. So not a lot at all. It doesn't have any of the super, super bad stuff. The worst thing, obviously, is the sugar. But it's so far down on the list, and it's 2% or less, that it barely shows up on the carb count. Um, so I really, really like that for the ingredients. I also got the Italian style from Publix. Um, again, same situation. Um, this is the chicken mozzarella cheese and then 2% of all of those other things as well. This is one carb, one net carb, but two total carbs and one fiber. I found this at Costco when I went last. The, I normally get the Mrs. Jones, like for, or I think Mr. Jones, whatever it is, the frozen sausage. Um, but this isn't frozen. It's the uh, Amy Lou uh, chicken breakfast links. It's 12 grams of protein. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, okay, so one carb and then less than one gram of fiber. So theoretically, it's less than one um, carb for three links of the sausage. Um, so here we go. The ingredients are chicken raised without antibiotics and then contains 2% less of spices, sea salt, water, parsley, extract of rosemary, and vinegar. So no sugar, no any type of creepy carbs in there at all. The ingredients are absolutely amazing. No nitrates, no nitrites, no antibiotics, paleo, all of that great stuff. And it's three different packs as you can see here. So I'll probably cook one um, and then freeze the other two. But I thought that was really good as far as the ingredients and I'm super excited to try it and see if I like it. And then this is also from Costco. I know I have like sausage like for days. Like you would think I'm doing the carnival challenge again. I don't know, maybe I do need to do it because I have so much meat on hand, you guys. Um, but for me, when I have this stuff cooked, it keeps me from eating other things. If I don't feel like cooking dinner and the stuff is already made, I will always gravitate towards this rather than making a bad decision. This is the Adele's, again, bacon, mushroom, and Swiss cheese smoked chicken sausage. You guys, sounds so good. Haven't tried it. Here are the nutrition facts one gram of carb or one carb per link um and then here are the ingredients They're a little bit longer as far as the um ingredient list but chicken bacon um all that stuff portobello mushrooms swiss cheese um so the stuff in here is not as great um there is like the potato starch or corn starch and stuff but Obviously, it's not that much because it doesn't show up in the carb count, and I really wanted to try this flavor, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to know the other ones, the ingredients are a little bit better, but again, the carb count in here is great. The nutrition facts are great, and to me, that's what matters um, as far as sausage is concerned because all these sausages and bacons and stuff, they're always going to have some sort of uh, sugar from the curating process or whatever it is, so I will take that for sure for that flavor. I um, also got some black forest ham and some roast beef. This is for me and Matt. Um, you can't really see the nutrition facts on there. One gram for two ounces. And then this is one gram for two ounces as well. Um, so there's that as far as lunch meat. This is mostly for Matt. Um, he's going to start taking wraps and stuff for lunch. 
Um, so the, they do have dextrose in them and certain stuff, stuff like that that I know isn't great, but you know, you make, you do things where you can, and this is something that's super quick and easy for me to pack for him for lunch. Um, this random core water, I don't really know why it's still in the fridge, but we need to drink it. Um, also some cage-free brown eggs. Um, these are delicious. I love these over any eggs. The price is not that much more. I know they're not pasture raised, but they're cage free. And honestly, even if they weren't cage free, I like them more. I like the taste of them more. I like how they peel more when I'm doing like, um, deviled eggs or, um, boiled eggs in general. Um, I absolutely love them. Okay. And then I just have two things of pickles. This is my favorite type of pickle. This is the one I use when I'm just eating pickles, but they're a little more expensive. So if I'm putting them in something like a egg salad or something, I always use these or like the cheeseburger casserole. I always use these cause they are, um, not as good to just eat regular like this, but when it's in something like that, I don't like to use like the fancier one. I have a big thing of sour cream here that's almost gone. I need to use it up before it expires. And then a thing of black olives. Absolutely love them. And then this is leftovers from dinner the other night. And then this is just the um, sparkling water, the pineapple coconut. You can see here are the ingredients, just carbonated water and natural flavors. So we like to have those for some fizz. So that is everything that was in my fridge. There were some containers of leftovers that I took out and threw away. Um, cause again, I put stuff in there and forget that I put it in there. So I know it's terrible. I shouldn't do it. I'm going to try to be better. Um, but yeah, this is everything that was in my fridge. So now if I can show you the actual fridge, here it is. You can see it's not super huge, but it's a decent size for what we need it for. Um, but I'm just going to take some Mrs. Myers cleaner and clean the entire thing. Um, let it dry and then get everything put back in here in some sort of organized fashion. Okay, so I cleaned it all out. As you can see, it's so, so clean. I'm so excited about it. I cleaned this. I took all the shelves out and just gave everything a good wipe down. I'm so happy with how it looks. I don't know. I think this is under the glass, but I don't really know how I can take that off. So I tried, but I'm going to have Matt look at it when he gets home. But other than that, it's perfectly clean. And now I got to get all this stuff put back in there. Losing my mind, told them I'm fine, wish I was sober We were just 21, nothing was wrong with our future But when I'm alone, feel like a stone, nothing can hurt me I live in a dream, I want to be seen before this thing ate me So up here you can see I just have all the butter. I have the Chef Chamois garlic butter, all the cream cheese back in the back. And I know that this is closed, so I'm gonna use this one first. And then I have heavy cream and I, un I took all of those Smart Muffins out of the box so I could see them and remember to eat them because I love them and I want to use them really soon. So I went ahead and kept those in there. And then down here are all the condiments. As you saw me put in, I kind of try to do it like keto friendly things on this side and then like less keto friendly things slash not even close to keto friendly things over here so over here i have the g hughes the mayonnaise ranch um caesar dressing then i have wing sauce mustard blue cheese one of the costco cremas here and then the rest of it is like kind of non-keto stuff regular ketchup honey mustard taco bell sauce and then down here i have kind of like the leftover stuff that wouldn't fit so i have a regular barbecue sauce a grape jelly and all of this is non-keto pretty much then i have a regular syrup a mayonnaise that i don't like to eat matt uses that one a lot and when i or i use that a lot for matt when i make sandwiches and then as you can see bella my puppy is right here front and center but and this is the extra um, cilantro lime crema that comes in the two pack from costco um so i kind of try to keep extras down there and it's kind of a weird shelf like you can see like the jelly barely fits in there like it's super thin so i'm kind of limited to what i can put down there a lot of times i'll put drinks down there but i'm gonna make a space for that on the regular shelf so i just wanted to put things that didn't fit on the condiment shelf here so i'm gonna step back so you can see a full view of it but I'm pretty happy with how the condiment section turned out. What it's like to be seen through magazines, never feeling real. I'm a camera girl in a camera world. I'm a camera girl. Okay, so I'm finally done. I have the eggs here. I have the dairy stuff here. So I have the milk, 
the creamer, the sour cream, and the whipped heavy cream. Here I have like kind of like snacky stuff. So I have my string cheese here. Then I have the two things of pickles and olives. So I'll kind of use this area as like when I make my homemade Lunchables and stuff. This is a whole bunch of meat that I need to cook up or freeze. I think I'm gonna cook some of them today and then put the rest in the freezer. This is my little cheese drawer. I've got a bunch of cheese. Of course, if you're on keto, you know cheese is an essential. So I have that in there. These two things of lunch meat I just have out here. I would like to put them in here, but they won't fit with all the cheese that I have. But I might move them up here once all of that is gone. I'm um, down here. I have those waters I was telling you about that we use for carbonation. And here, the only vegetable I have right now is broccoli. So I put the broccoli in there. I'm um, in the little crisper, and then this is completely empty. So. Like I said, you saw how full my fridge was before, um, and it amazes me how empty it is now. Like, of course, this is full. This is obviously all about to leave, um, and I took all the leftover containers out um, and threw them away. But you can see I have, like, a whole thing here. Like, I could move this, and I would have almost that whole shelf there. So, um, super crazy that I had so much stuff in here that was just taking up room. It looked like I didn't have any room in my fridge. So, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Again, here's a quick overview of the side door. Um, just so you can see everything that's in here. I have a lot of stuff in here, a lot of things to make some pretty amazing keto recipes. So I'm going to try to keep my grocery budget down over the next couple weeks and um, use all the stuff that I have in here. Thank y'all so much for watching this refrigerator clean out slash watching my refrigerator slash whatever it is. Um, I do need to do my freezer, but right now there's a lot of meat in there that there's not that much room to move around. But I am going to do my pantry, so be on the lookout for that. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you would like to stay subscribed and click the bell so y'all will be notified every time I upload a video. Um, I'm working on being more consistent. Again, I'm sorry about that. That's everything I have for today. Remember to follow my keto Instagram page for more keto inspiration. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.